The Wright brothers have locked Glenn Curtis in a brutal patent suit, bringing their rival towards the brink of bankruptcy. One fateful afternoon, everything changes. Curtis is paid a visit by the legendary car maker, Henry Ford. Ford has spent eight years fighting his own legal battles against a man who claimed to own the patent on the automobile. A suit that brought the car industry to a grinding halt. But Ford emerged victorious and is one of the most successful car manufacturers in the country. I'd like to support your patent claims, vigorously. Why? I want to make airplanes. I want to compete against the Wright brothers instead of waiting on their lawyers. So you want me to fight your battles for you? My legal team is at your disposal. Henry Ford offers Curtis a strategy to get around the Wright's lawsuit. When you sue, you're suing for infringement from a specific aspect of the other person's product. So you make small alterations to your product, and then you produce that. And it makes them have to sue you all over again. Will you lose? Yeah, you'll probably lose, but you can keep the suit going in perpetuity. Ford has given Curtis a way to use the patent suits to his advantage by constantly altering his plans. Curtis revisits earlier designs that propel the field of aviation forward. He pioneers the naval seaplane and simulates aerial bombing raids, changing military aviation forever. There's a reason why we remember Glenn Curtis. He's the first one to fly from one city to another. He's the first one to be involved in having an airplane take off of, a, of, of what we now call an aircraft carrier. We see literally dozens of key innovations to the aircraft that we still have on airplanes today. 